Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the new TradeEdix Dealer Greeks dashboard taint changes. I've loved Dealer's dashboard on TradeEdix for quite some time because of how accurate and precise the correlations have been. However, TradeEdix recently made some changes to the dashboard that have enhanced it even further. I'm excited to show you what I found on Tesla using these changes, and I'm excited to see what others find as well. Before we get started, I'll leave several discount codes for trading services I use in the description, including Sonar Labs, TradeEdix, Voland, and Elite Trader Fund. Lastly, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Also, be sure to hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. With that being said, let's get right into this. So, if you're not already familiar, and I have done videos on this in the past, this is the Dealers Greeks Build-Up Dashboard, it's a, or Dealer Positioning Dashboard, I should say. And you can get to this on TradeEdix by going to the left menu, under Ticker Dashboards, choosing Options. And then if we scroll down to about the middle of the Options page, you'll see this dashboard here. Now, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I just want to point out that I do use this in my evening, well, before they were morning prep posts, now they're evening prep posts. And I use it to get an idea of how the, how SPY will move the following day. And it has been really accurate, actually. So this was the post from Friday. And I use the four and five day correlations to see if there's any differences between them, where we get the, the expected price distributions based on uh, the, the way deltas are structured on SPY. And we can see here that I marked up the chart to basically show, okay, on Friday. Uh, now, remember, this would be for the next five days. So this is... We have a chance of base 32% chance of moving 1.5% over the next five days. So all the way up to 409.51. And the nice thing about that is if we look at SPY's chart and I'll zoom in here, you can actually see now we did have a pullback and this was due to, to uh, options de-hedging end of week, uh, uh, closing long positions, things like that. And so I'll do a bit follow up video on this because I actually did post about this and the entry I plan to take and then posted about the entry that I ended up taking. And while it could have been optimized in some ways, it was still a 19 point win uh, overall, which was great um, on ES. But in this case, you can see, so over the next five days, we were expected to move 1.5%. And you can actually see, we ended up getting to roughly 408.25. Actually, the high was 408.16. And we can see that the expected move with still four more days left to go essentially. So we actually got quite a big move on Friday, it was all the way up to 409.51. And so that's what's really nice is it shows the statistical relationship of past price movements and delta structure. So we can see uh, this was four days, so five days. This is what I was basing it off of the 32% chance to move anywhere from zero to 1.5%. And so this has helped me tremendously. If you don't follow me on Twitter and you don't get these data posts, uh, if you think this stuff would be helpful for assessing your trades going into the next day, then I recommend giving me a follow. Now, uh, but they recently, uh, TradeEdix recently made changes and this is what I wanna discuss. And so if we get into the dealer Greeks build up dashboard and we have just Delta selected, down here is where you can change the, the future uh, price changes and see the price distributions and all that. But purely just basing this off of dealer positioning, it can be quite power powerful alone, especially on um, assets such as Tesla and Apple and Microsoft and assets that have a lot of dealer participation, basically like the, the top 200 assets on the market that have the most options participation would likely fit in this pretty well, at the very least the top 50, which gives a lot of ways we can use this. Now, recently, the uh, TradeEdix added in these two buttons, so momentum and backtesting performance. So momentum, basically, if we choose the default value of 15 days, the way this works is it takes the current day deltas and subtracts them by the deltas from 15 days ago, and then gives you a value. And we can see that this shows that dealers are short on momentum. Now, this doesn't mean that we want to be short. So if dealers are short, then that means large institutions are long and vice versa. If dealers are long, that means long institutions are short. Now, as long as dealers ha are able to provide liquidity, despite dealers being long, uh, that's still the likelihood of like a full blown crash, uh, meaning dropping, you know, limit down in, in a matter of a, uh, day after day is unlikely, but that's, that's a whole different point. Uh, so I don't want to get too far away from what I'm trying to discuss here. So if we see the way we, we can structure strategies off this, so we can say, okay, if if momentum is negative, 
uh, 15 day momentum is negative and i recommend that you go through and check out five day and 10 day and 20 day and you do it on different assets as i mentioned i searched tesla in this case and so this means that we want to be long and so this is purely this back test is showing as if you're just buying shares now if you want to check it out for options you'd have to do some some testing yourself and i would recommend making sure that you buy options contracts with plenty of time so i would say minimum 28 days might even be best to do if you can afford it but based on account sizes anywhere from 60 to 90 days if you're doing this strategy but if we look at the back test performance so right here we can say we have two choices so we can say whenever dealers are long we're gonna we're gonna be short and whenever dealers are short we're gonna be long so we're gonna buy when things are less than zero and we're gonna sell when things are greater than zero and that's it. We're going to hold these shares the entire time. And that's, this is also fantastic for long-term portfolios. So if you're like me and you manage a portion of your 401k or you manage your own Roth IRA and based on the broker you're using, you may not be able to do options. Now in my case, and I'll talk about it a little, uh, one of my brokers does allow me to do options and I can sell puts and sell calls. So what I usually do is if I'm long on something, I'll actually sell puts on it. And if I'm short on something, I'll actually sell calls on it. And that's like another way that you can collect additional premiums. The caveat being is you have to build in a bit of a buffer and you have to be okay. If you're wrong, you might be buying or selling shares at a, at a suboptimal price. But despite that, it uh, has worked out for me overall pretty well. And I do use dealer positioning and this has simply made things easier. Now, let's just stick to if we were buying and selling shares. And so we, we would only exit when the momentum in this case shifted. And so if we back test this, right? So if we say we're exactly what I said, when dealers are long, we're short. And when dealers are short, we're long. You can actually see you actually, you stay in profit a hundred percent of the time, which is amazing. And this goes all the way back to 2021, July, July 2nd, 2021. And we can see we would have had 151.7% gains with an average return of 2%. That means average return. So when we flip from long to short, we would make roughly 2% on these shares. Meanwhile, Tesla is down 21.4%. So we outperformed Tesla significantly. But being in profit 100% of the time using this momentum value is absolutely incredible. And you don't have to necessarily use momentum. So if we clear out this back test and let's turn off 15 day momentum, and just look at deltas. Let's see what would happen if the minute dealers were short, we were long, and the minute dealers were long, we were short, and we simply back test that. Well, look at that. Profit actually gets even better. At this point, 245.2% total returns just playing Tesla, just buying and selling shares with an average return of 5.5% and in profit 100% of the time, which is absolutely incredible. And so, that alone is quite powerful. And, and again, I'd recommend trying different momentum values. And I would also check it out on different tickers. Now, just to show you what happens if we flip that. So we're, we're long when dealers are long and we're short when dealers are short. So now we're actually going against large institutions. And don't get me wrong. Dealer positioning is potent and we can still use it to our advantage and using things like Gamma and Vanna and many of those things I've discussed on this channel. But this is purely based on following if they're long or short on something. So we do that. You could see if we were on the side of the dealers, and this is a great example of why dealers have to hedge based on uh, deltas fluctuating using things like Gamma, Vanna, and Charm, because if they didn't, dealers would just, they'd be out of business in no time. They would be losing a significant amount of money if it wasn't for the way they hedge. So you can do this on Tesla. I'm curious. Let's, uh, Let's try Microsoft, for instance, see what happens if, if we compare momentum to just raw deltas again. So scrolling down here, we'll back test this performance. So in this case, dealers have been long for quite some time and recently flipped short. But we could see dealers have been short all this time. Now, this probably isn't going to look as good. And this is where things like momentum might actually work better. So and this is why I recommend trying this out. So you can see in this case from Microsoft, just simply being opposite of the dealers, even though we're in profit 73% of the time, in this case, our total returns is not great. So we actually do end up losing with using this strategy on Microsoft. And that's why it's important to look at this. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. 
In this case, we still outperform Microsoft, but in this case, if we are on the side of the dealers with just raw deltas, we actually make a little bit of money. And so if we flip that to momentum, we check out the, uh, we wanna say, let's say if we're going against the dealer momentum in this case, 15 day momentum, and we back test this, it actually gets a little better. So you can see on Tesla using the raw deltas was better. And and knowing this about Tesla now, I'm definitely gonna be implementing this on my longer term portfolios where it's it's a sort of a buy and hold situation. I'll use a partial position to try um, selling puts and, and selling calls, doing it that way. But also I'm gonna have um, a larger chunk of that just be with shares on Tesla where I'm buying when dealers are short and I'm selling when dealers are long. And so in this case, we could see total returns using 15 day momentum uh, was 11.4%. So you actually do get a little bit better when you're actually using momentum in this case. And so again, you know, we can, we can go across the top, top, uh, top assets here that have a lot of options activity that have a lot of Delta hedging and things of that nature. I mean, we could see a clear example, just looking right here, when, when dealers were significantly long on Google, look how much price was dropping on Google. And then when they when they flipped short, things consolidated for a bit. And then when they were long, right around the time they went long again, was right around the bottom of Google. Again, them being long here, we had downside. And now with them being short, it started flipping higher, although it really, it's kind of teetering at this point. So anyway, Let's check the back test. So again, we're going to be doing the opposite of dealers. You can see on Google, 52% returns, 100% uh, in, pro in profit, 100% of the time, which is incredible. And if we just try this with momentum, 15 day momentum, and uh, we back test, same deal. Again, really good, uh, really great returns there using the momentum. So this is how you can use this new dashboard as well as using the Greeks correlations. Now I've found personally that this new dashboard works fantastic when you're doing fantastic when you're doing it on underlying assets uh, and, and not doing it on indices. So when you're not doing it on things like SPY and QQQ, it tends to work better, although it still does work on SPY. Um, but when it comes to these Greek correlations, these things work phenomenally well for the main ETFs and indices. Uh, you can see that the correlate, and I've done a whole video on this, so I'm not going to get into it here, but this is sort of a weak correlation anyway. We really want to see something better than that. And we could probably play with the Greeks to get a better correlation, add in different things like Gamma and Vanna to see how well they correlate with price. But despite that, when we're talking about these underlying assets, and that's one thing, one last thing I should mention, and then, and then we can cut the video here, but you can try this with Gamma too, right? So you can actually back test what it would be like when, when dealers are long gamma versus short gamma, if you should be with them, them or against them and see how things play out, right? So if, if we're, in this case, if we, if dealers are long gamma, we're long. And if they're short gamma, we're short. And if we back test this, yeah, not great returns. But anyway, I highly recommend trying this out. Um, and if you guys do find any um, correlations or, or back tests that were as amazing as Tesla was, because that is by far the best one I've seen. I haven't tried it, had time to try it with a lot of them yet, but I'm excited to go through um, a large list and basically any asset I look up in the future. This is going to be one of the things that I look up with it just to see if it's worth doing for, for longer term plays. And, you know, if you, and if you find like a successful option strategy with it, that involves, um, anything from, from credit spreads to debit spreads to just straight up buying and selling calls uh, with longer amounts of theta, whatever it might be. Definitely let me know too. But I just wanted to call this out because this was uh, really fascinating to see what it's like to be uh, basically with the institutions and against the dealers on Tesla when it comes to just raw delta hedging. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one.